Uh, welcome, Echo Smith. Thanks so much for coming. Yay. Yeah. You guys just performed, too, in the family room. We call it amazing. I feel like the goosebumps all over me when you guys are singing. Love it. Uh, why don't you guys introduce yourselves for maybe people who already love you and want to hear your voice or people who haven't met you yet. I'm Sydney. I'm Jamie. I'm Graham. And I'm Noah. Cool. Thanks, guys, so much for coming in today. Uh, brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. Brothers and sister. Yes. Uh, you guys must have the coolest parents ever because you're <laughs> all so young. Did they hand you instruments coming out of the womb or how did this work? Well, I mean, when we were all babies, they lined up all four instruments, and they just saw which one we walked to first. No, no I'm just joking. <laughs> <I> <laughs> That'd be kind of cool, though, huh? Whoever I crawled was... to the best one got exactly. that one first. Exactly. Yeah. Um, it Whoever was like was a fastest. baby race. Yeah. Uh, uh, race. We all aim for but, the uh, drums, but Graham got the <laughs> Graham won. Yeah. Um, no, but really, we actually all just happened to pick the perfect instruments to become a band, even though we didn't have the intent whatsoever to become one. Yeah. And, I mean, we all played a little bit of everything, but really, I mean... Noah's the best bass player out of all of us. I mean, I don't play bass, but <laughs> mm. um, but I mean, everyone that's like playing what they're playing on stage, that's what we're best at. And I mean, mm. it just was a really natural thing for us. Yeah. And we decided seven years ago to do it together. And just right off, I mean, your parents, like, do they encourage this right off the bat? Like music was something big in your family, obviously. Yeah. I mean, we grew up around music all the time and yeah. our dad's a music producer and songwriter. So, I mean, naturally there's going to be musicians in the house constantly when yep. we're babies. Mm -hmm. um, and our mom's a painter too. So it was a very artistic household. Yeah. And how do they feel about their kids being on tour? They like it. I mean, yeah. like they support us in all we do and they, they come with us yeah. usually. And, uh, I'm like, you know, they know that we're passionate about what we're doing, that we yeah. love playing music and doing what we're doing. And I'm like, we're doing it for real right now, yeah. I'd say. And it's yeah. I'm like, it's a lot of fun. They don't they get like nervous it. for you. Like my, if my parents, I don't think they'd be able to come to if, if I was as talented as you guys. They would get <laughs> so nervous, right? Like they wouldn't. They wouldn't be able to handle it, but they love going. They love it. Yeah. I mean, they go a lot, so. I guess they got used to it. <laughs> yeah. Do they get to tour to with you, or do they like come to like certain dates? Or they come with us. Yeah. Um. Uh. Which is nice too. And I mean, they don't come to every single thing yeah. sometimes, but I mean, they're with us most of the time, which is cool. And we all get along, which is nice. Yeah. And like, and they're good at what they like. My our dad, he does he does our sound when we play live, and like. Our mom, she takes care of a lot of like the business side nice. of the touring and stuff. She's so like they are, they're actually working. Not just, they're not just like hanging out, yeah, watching us That's all day. Fun though. Okay, you guys, uh, I mentioned it. You're super young, but you've already had a couple of big, whoa moments in your career, like pretty quickly. I mean, obviously you're very talented, but what was the first moment that you kind of went, oh, hang on, like this is actually turning into something successful <laughs> well when we first started to see people sing along to our songs mm. that's when it was sort of that moment where we realized dang this is real and we're probably going to be doing this in a you know successful way um and i mean when you start a band when you write songs you know you write it because they relate to you and because you want to write them but also at the same time you kind of have this vision and this dream of people singing along with you and relating to those songs as you know alongside you and i mean it started to happen last year on Warp Tour, the first time that we did it. And, I mean, it was just something where I was like, holy crap, they listen enough to know it and yeah. to know all the lyrics. <laughs> and it started to become more and more, and it was a gradual build for us. Um, and, mm. I mean, it started with cool kids. And yeah. now when we're playing shows, people are singing along to everything. It's mm -hmm. not just like they're just singing the single. But it's amazing to see, you know, what has happened over the past two years, really. Yeah. So it's been like a year anniversary, right, of cool kids were coming up. Actually, past a year now. I don't even. Yeah. We like put a year it out, and a half since we put it because we put it out in like March before. Yeah, last March, like on a little three song sampler that we're kind of like just to have out like we yep. were touring that summer, yeah. and yeah, we didn't expect too much with Cool Kids. Like we put it out there, and it's funny. Like you know, fans just started singing it back as we were playing shows, and it just kind of like it was wasn't planned on being a single it just kind yeah. of started like coming back to us, and we're like, hey, well, maybe we we should kind of roll with it. And well, it seems to be a song that keeps having new life it keeps finding <laughs> new audiences and it keeps getting bigger and bigger did you know creating it that you had something or was it not until you started performing it not really i mean like we we were writing it and it took us a while to write because we just we'd go back and forth with it it wasn't like we spent like six months straight in a room writing that yeah. song but like we kept going back we'd finish it and they're like no there's something about that we didn't like we'd kept going we keep going back and fixing things yeah. and eventually we got it I'm like okay it almost didn't make the record like multiple times and uh, we finished it and we loved it and then we wanted to release that with a few other songs we didn't know we didn't expect it to do what it's done take us yeah. to where it's taken us and it just kind of 
you know, it did it itself on the fans attached to it and that, mm-hmm. you know, it wasn't a label person or some guy in a suit telling us yeah. that, that song is going to be huge or whatever. And it wasn't really even us. It just kind of happened. Naturally just took on a life of its own. Yeah. I think it's because it has that vulnerability, right? Like you guys really kind of expose how you feel and how thousands of people, young and old, are yeah. feeling, right? Yeah. Like, you know, you hear the song and you think like, oh yeah, I felt like that in high school, but people still feel like that in the workplace. Yeah. yeah. So I think it's something that continues to resonate, right, for that reason. Yeah, and I think it's awesome that you bring that up because that is what we talk about in so many of our interviews because people are saying, you know, mentioning the fact that we mentioned the word kids and things like that. But the reality is, is that everybody at some point, whether you're a kid or not, you do feel that desire and that longing to be like somebody else. And I mean, it's a real thing. And whether you want to admit it or not, you have felt it before, or you're going to feel it at some point. And in reality, what makes you cool is being yourself, accepting yourself for who you are and who you are. not And that happens, you know, it's so easy to get caught up in the whole comparing game. That'll be endless. It never ends. Um, so, I mean, when you start to accept yourself, that's when life becomes so much more enjoyable. And that's what we've found. Mm. Nice. That was beautiful. Thanks. Um, I just said, yeah, credit for that. (laughs) (laughs) Um, And as sort of uh, this song gets bigger and you guys get bigger, obviously your um, Twitter fans are increasing. You can physically see that every day. You probably get like (laughs) a hundred new followers every day. Is that hard? Because you, you have two great things with Twitter. One is you reach your fans directly and they reach you directly. And two, People can say whatever they want to say to you. Um, and because you guys are so young, have you learned to just roll with that? I'm like somewhat. I mean, like we grew up in the internet age. So like yeah. even in like middle school and high school and stuff, like everything that was like dramatic was from the internet. So like when it comes to like the small amount of internet hate, and we don't get a ton of it. We're not getting like crazy tweets every day yeah. telling us to like go die or anything like that. <laughs> well, sometimes. But I sometimes. got that yesterday. We got, actually, we got that speaking yesterday of. besides that. But, um, <laughs> you know, it doesn't happen too much. And, you know, you just kind of, you know, we know who we are and we know, you know, what we what we believe in, who we, how we believe in ourselves and all that. And um, you just sometimes got to ignore that stuff. And it is really cool with Twitter and all that stuff to communicate with the fans. And yeah. it is getting a lot harder because it's getting a lot bigger and we're getting yeah. Yeah. a whole lot more tweets than we did like a year ago. Yeah, notifications off. It's right? very yeah. difficult, yeah. yes. True. But I mean, with hate comments, you have to realize before you go into doing really anything that involves social media or anything where people are going to evaluate you, really any sort of job, whether it's music or not, you really have to know who you are and not put your value in other people's opinions of you because their opinions are always going to be different. They're never going to have, you know, a general consensus of they're a cool person or a bad person or not, you know what I mean? And I mean, you can't have your value in other people. You have to have it in yourself and what you believe in, like he was mentioning. So, I mean, with the hate comments, we kind of take them and decide to love on them instead because that kind of throws them off even more than me saying, hey, you're lame, you yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> okay. Wow, you guys are inspiring me. You're like so much younger than me, but I'm already like trying to learn from you. <laughs> great perspective, good for you guys. Thank okay, you. that was getting too serious. Let's have some fun. <laughs> um, we got 10 questions here. I wanna know okay. who's most likely in the band. Oh. Uh, you can come to a consensus and vote for the person you think is most likely. Okay? We're great pretty easy. Yes. Oh, First one, uh, most likely to be caught calling mom. Calling uh, mom? Yeah. Me, no. probably. I love my no. mom. <laughs> Okay, number two. <laughs> Most likely to be taking a selfie. Sydney. Sydney. <laughs> Sydney. You can best that one. Probably where it's going to go for the rest of this. <laughs> yes. I always get blamed for these. Most uh, likely to be caught watching sports. No, not me. Uh, Nobody, actually. I no got to say. No, okay. no one. Not one of us. I don't know. Uh, Most likely to be the first one to sleep. Me. Probably Graham, actually. I feel like yeah, Graham just kind of disappears. Yeah. The one person who said nothing. <laughs> He's like, He's oh, sleeping. Yeah, He's sleeping in his mind. <laughs> sleeping with his eyes. You didn't hear open. anything you just said. No, I'm uh, person, yeah. <laughs> um, most likely to forget the music in concert. Sydney. Sydney. Oh. Yeah, sucks. Mainly lyrics. <laughs> most likely to be watching cartoons. No, uh, uh, sure. Yeah. Well, maybe not cartoons. Maybe but. like no, baby no shows sometimes. No one's the type sometimes. to like hang out on a Saturday and just watch whatever's on the TV. Mainly Criminal Minds. But sometimes when That's I fall dark. asleep on the couch and the TV's on, I wake up and like little kid shows are on. Mm. And those are sometimes pretty fun. <laughs> <laughs> I can't complain. Most likely to be reading Hunger Games. I haven't read it, but that would probably be me. Probably. Fit involves reading. Best time again. Okay. Yeah. Uh, most likely to Google themselves. Sydney. Sydney I've probably. never done that before. Oh, well, I guess <laughs> not Sydney. I've done it before, so I'll say oh, yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Why okay, not? Okay. Noah. Fess up. <laughs> Most fun. likely to be Instagramming. 
Sydney. 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 Kind of goes along with a selfie. Yeah. yeah. What's your favorite filter? I really am into Sierra lately, but adding Ooh. the warmth and the contrast Whoa. on like the special thing. Yeah, 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 I do that on almost every photo because it makes me look tan even though I'm not. Right. I like the extra too for that same reason. Yeah. It kind of makes everything darker and you yeah. look intense. Yeah, you, you do look super serious and stuff. Yeah, exactly. Even Make if you're smiling, crazy. it's crazy. Yeah. Okay, last one. Uh, most likely to do a BuzzFeed quiz on who they're most likely to be. Probably me. I'm Probably obsessed with BuzzFeed. I was actually scrolling on their website of like all these crazy recipes and like no bake cakes because we don't have an oven on our right, bus. And yeah. I'm like, I want a cake oh, right now. And I was looking at all these recipes for at least an hour on BuzzFeed. So wow. I will do anything on that website. Let's do that. That's fun. They'll, they're cake. willing to eat your no bake cakes. Okay. Yeah. I want to eat it first though. Okay. Mm. Yeah. We'll let her sample. The ice yeah. cream cakes or ice cream yeah. pies. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Sounds so Ooh, good right now. Settle down there. Thanks so much for coming in, guys. We <laughs> yeah, appreciate yeah. it. So great to meet you, and uh, hopefully you'll be back in Vancouver. Oh, playing um, with um, American, American Authors. Authors. American Authors. Thank you. What venue is it? The Vogue, Vogue? Theater. Yeah. And yeah. You've, have you been there checking it out yet? No. Yeah, I went in. I did. It was just me. It's nice. It's Everything really cool. here is nice looking. It's a pretty, yeah, it's pretty Super new clean. city. Right? Yeah, exactly. I like that. It's a very. It's an older theater, though, so you kind of get that cool vibe, a nice warmth sound to it. Yeah. So. yeah. Have fun. Thank you. Thank you for fans are good to you. Yay.